Today we're embarking on an epic adventure as we explore the stunning Sequoia National Park in just one day. Get ready for the towering General Sherman tree, breathtaking views from the Morro Rock Trail, and unforgettable moments like walking through a fallen sequoia. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join us for more exciting travel destinations. We made it! We're at Sequoia National Park. We're gonna use our America the Beautiful Pass. I highly recommend it if you go to a lot of national parks. This is the way to go. In September of 1890, President Benjamin Harris signed legislation establishing America's second national park. Just inside the park is the small visitor center where you can get information for your visit. So shortly after you come into the park, your first stop is gonna be Tunnel Rock. You can walk underneath this huge boulder that's fallen down and wedged itself between another rock and the ground. Let's go up the trail. Lucas and I are gonna go to the top of Tunnel Rock. Hi, Mommy. In case you're unaware, climbing on Tunnel Rock is hazardous, so be careful. On this. Oops. Dates. Got it. We're gonna to come back from the edge a little bit. Good job conquering Tunnel Rock, buddy. Yeah, it's a sign up there that talks about poison oak. Don't ever touch this kind of plant right here, okay? It'll make you super itchy. Okay. After leaving Tunnel Rock, we headed to a very unique fallen sequoia. So we just stopped at Auto Log, and this tree is absolutely monstrous. You can see it's fallen, and now you can just kind of walk on it. Walk on it. No. Let's go down here and see. Look at this thing. There wasn't a knee. It's a big drop. Look how far this tree is. Auto log is a base diameter of 21 feet. And it fell in 1917. Since then, many types of vehicles have been photographed on this unusual log driveway. Such an amazing tree. Look at this root system. Oh my God. My gosh. After leaving Autolog, we made our way to the short but steep Morro Rock Trail, a must-do hike in Sequoia National Park. Okay, we just made it to Morro Rock Trail. Hiking the Morro Rock Trail in Sequoia National Park is an exhilarating hike up the 350 steps to the top of the massive granite dome towering over the surrounding landscape. The adventure begins at the base of Morro Rock, where the trail starts with a series of stairs carved into the rock face. As you ascend, breathtaking vistas unfold at every turn, showcasing the vastness of the Sierra Nevada mountain range and the lush forests of Sequoia National Park below. We're going to hike Morro Rock Trail. You're going straight up the steps. The trail is well maintained but steep, so make sure you're wearing sturdy shoes. Hiking the Morro Rock Trail is not just a physical journey, it's a captivating exploration of nature's resilience and beauty, leaving indelible memories of one of America's most cherished national parks. Reaching the summit of Morro Rock is the ultimate reward. At an elevation of 6,725 feet, or 2,050 meters, the panoramic views are simply awe-inspiring. Wow, Morro Rock is incredible. Talk about a viewpoint. Definitely recommend it if you're gonna be here in Sequoia National Park. It's a steep climb, but it's so worth it. After the hike, we entered into the giant forest and stopped by a group of sequoias named the Parker Group. The sheer size of these trees is mind boggling and just made me want to have some fun. When you're among sequoias, you just have to frolic. I'm, I'm tree weaving! Tree weaving! <laughs> you gotta weave through the trees! Score! <laughs> Our next stop is a must-do. Tunnel Log, located along the Crescent Meadow Road in Giant Forest. This is a chance to experience driving through a tree and getting a photo of the experience. Our next stop here in Sequoia is gonna be the Sherman Tree. And that's one of the most famous stops here. There is a lot of parking that's available here, but because this is one of the most sought after sites, it does fill up pretty quick. You have to wait a while for somebody to leave. Two trails lead to the Sherman Tree, 
Parking for the main trail is off the Wolverton Road. Those with disability placards can park in a small lot along the edge of General's Highway. Walk through a tree. Yes, we can. It's tight though. It gets really tight. Hey. Yep, made it. Oh. So the there's a line to get your picture taken in front of General Sherman. It's not very long, but there is a line. And that's a pretty amazing tree. There are taller trees and wider trees, but the General Sherman tree contains more wood by volume in its trunk than any other tree on Earth. The most recent age estimate of the General Sherman tree is about 2,200 years old. The Congress Trail starts near the Sherman tree and provides a tour of some of the most spectacular sequoias of giant forest. Well, General Sherman is an impressive tree. Well worth a chance to come out here and take the stroll down to come see it. On our way to visit the General Grant tree, we discovered a hidden gem. So we're driving down the highway here in the park and it was just a pull off on the side of the road with a whole bunch of sequoias kind of clustered next to each other and there's one up on this hill Lucas and I wanted to see. Let's take a look, oh my gosh. Look at the crack in that thing. I could camp inside that. Jeez, and that goes deep. How deep this thing is. I'm all the way at the back of the tree now where the crack ends. You can see how deep it is. This tree is cracked all the way through to where you can see outside of it. Maybe you can even climb all the way through there. You think? All the way up too? I don't know, can you? Should we go on to our side and You want to go on the other side? Sure. Whoa. Oh my God. It's like a cave up here. Dude. What do you think? There's one right there. What? There's one over there. Oh. Look at that. There's oh, another cool. one right there. Dang. Dang That's this where crack. we came from. It is. Oh, this tree is all hollowed out, isn't it? Pretty nuts. Literally have Hello, enough room to stand up in here. Well, there you have it. You want to hang out inside a tree? It's almost like a hollowed out playground for kids. Pretty crazy that half the tree is hollowed out on the inside, but it's still growing. Our last stop brought us into Kings Canyon National Park to see the General Grant tree and the fallen monarch. We didn't spend much time in Kings Canyon due to controlled burns going on. How cool is this, huh? Daddy, we're inside a tree. No. So we're now inside the mo fallen monarch. How crazy is this tree, huh? Man, we're walking through a fallen sequoia. So cool. Amazing the things you can find when you get off the beaten path and explore this amazing country we live in. The fallen monarch sits right next to the General Grant tree and is only steps from the parking lot. And there's General Grant. Have you visited Sequoia National Park? If so, please share your experiences in the comments below. Don't miss out on our next episode where we sleep in a treehouse Airbnb play with the 17 goats on property, and visit the iconic Yosemite National Park where we'll see Bridal Veil Falls, Lower Yosemite Falls, and hike to the very top of Vernal Falls. If you're enjoying our content, we would absolutely love if you'd subscribe and hit the bell to get reminded of our next videos. Thanks.